What's cooking everyone? Today we're talking the art of noodles, a truly magical thing. We'll be making them from scratch with two main ingredients and a bit of love and patience. Handmade noodles are so fresh and tender and game changing to make by yourself. Plus it's just insanely fun. One of my favorite things to make and soon yours too. <laughs> A very small list of ingredients with a magical combination of flour and water. I love this brand of all-purpose flour and use it for almost everything. If you can't find it though, just use an Asian brand of all-purpose wheat flour. Let's begin the show. Get a big fat bowl and start throwing in the flour. Complement it with a generous amount of salt and just a bit of baking soda but not too much that you get that bitter flavor. Get a quick mix in for some even distribution. And now for some water which we'll be pouring in increments while mixing the dough. And there really is no magical ratio for flour and water since things like temperature will always impact how much you need. But these measurements are a great baseline with about 44% of water to flour. And just start kneading down and out. When the flour starts to stick on your hand a bit, grab some dry flour from the side of the bowl and give your hands a nice rubby. Clean hands, let's continue. Down and out, alternating sides with lots of force. And you'll soon begin to realize how dry and tough noodle dough is supposed to be. It might even feel impossible to knead, but that's where the difficulty of making great noodles come. Just trust the process and keep on going. This can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. You will feel the dough's resistance, but just push on through. This is critical for making sure that the gluten is well combined. It's the most important step. And when we finish, we'll get this smooth, beautiful dough with slight bumpiness and a bit of bounce back. Quick pat on the head then cover it and let it rest for one to one and a half hours. Now the dough is fully rested and you can feel it's much softer and looser. A final kneading for a couple of minutes and this will smooth out all the imperfections. Perfect smooth ball of dough, almost ready. With a massive portion like this, I like working half at a time. Let it rest for a final 10 minutes. You're going to first start using your palms to flatten out the dough. And now, with our trusty rolling pin, start rolling. And again, you will feel the dough's resistance. Start working the sides until you get an even sheet. Give this process some patience and love. You want to make sure it's as even as possible all around. And you can see how sturdy it is. Should feel very smooth and not sticky. Dust a bit of flour on the bottom and top, and this will prevent any possible stickiness. To stretch the dough out with limited space, we're actually going to roll it inside the rolling pin, giving it a gentle tuck with each rotation. Now start rolling from the center to the outside. Roll it back out and rub another layer of flour on top. And repeat the process. Be sure you distribute your strength in a way where the thickness is even all around. You can see just how large our sheet has become. Final cleanup rules to make sure it's as even as possible from the center to the outside. We're looking for 1 to 2 millimeters of thickness, just like you see here. Now this time, rub a generous amount of flour on top of the dough, and start folding upwards. And I like to dust each layer with a little bit of flour as well, but don't push down. You want to keep things nice and loose here. Final fold. And now to the cutting board to test your knife skills. Find your biggest and sharpest knife for this job. Use your other hand to gently guide the knife without pushing down. And I like to first unravel the fold on top. And just happily toss the noodles around to separate them. Simply amazing. And you can also cut them thicker like this, which I personally like the best. It's critical that you use a lot of water to dilute the starch, and a very generous amount of salt and some oil. Just drop them in. Stir them around to make sure that they're separated, and I'll show you a very quick and delicious recipe that you can make with these noodles. These fresh noodles will only take about 3-5 to five minutes to finish. A little taste test, and we're done.
quick hot water shower to get rid of any excess starch. And now, an extraordinary five ingredient recipe. Just a bit of homemade oils and some soy sauce, and we have ourselves some simple and comforting noodles. Top it off with some fried shallots and diced scallions for some amazing aroma and texture. And of course, a drizzle of our Ball Bay chili oil to complete the magic. Truly worth all of that hard labor. Just enough fragrant and flavor that it's not too overpowering and lets the noodles be the star of the show. There are a couple of elements that make noodles amazing, and these right here check all the boxes. The first thing is texture. You want a chewy and bouncy tenderness. Soft enough that it's tender with a slight resistance. Not so much that it feels like the noodle is fighting back with you, but enough to give your mouth a pleasant chew when you're eating these noodles. The second one is flavor, and salt is the only spice that we use for noodles, so it's imperative that you use enough so that the flavor of the noodles come out without just tasting like dough. And another important element is the way the noodles feel. You want a pleasant experience from the mouth all the way down to the stomach with a smooth ride all around. And these right here, Hope you guys enjoyed the beautiful art of making noodles and have just as much fun with it as I do. Don't forget to subscribe, share, chop that like button, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.